the Irish Field Handicap next and a huge field for this and it's 9 furlongs 0-90 the top one is Banging Drums for Mark Jones has also got Vicious Vicky Bang the Drum for Kevin Minahan Amjad Landing James Shea top seeded Obi-Wan Alison Felix Nick Driver Kes Kianto Janella for Dan Hughes Sea of Tar Craig Beckwith Sneaky Pete Dan Hughes Blooming Chaser Thomas Rogers Outflank Daniel French Kibitza Paul O'Neill Muckross Rover James Shea Tropes Obi-Wan Pacific Prime Craig Beckwith Southern Comfort Ground Clutterbuck Akinist Aris for Vinnie Gerrard Carla Line and Storming Pete for Alex Cherry Uriah Heap for Martin Lidham, also Fun Cooler for Ananias, Treasure Damsel for Derek Hinton, Mr Murphy for D Slattery and Strength and Stay for Ryan Costello, 24 of them men, and turns to negotiate as well, so could be interesting this. We wait to assemble at the start there we go they're in the stalls right across the track just about fit and away they go a little bit slow to go as the grey closest to a sea of tar but nothing to be too concerned about right over on the far side also fame Kula is quick away and also top seeded in the yellow jacket in the middle of the blue jacketed one closest to us is sneaky pete so sneaky pete is the leader then from also fame Kula and top seeded they're the leading three out flank is in fourth on widest on the track at this moment is Uriah Heap, but they've got just under, well, got just about six and a half furlongs to go. And Sneaky Pete, also Fane Kuehler and Top Seeded are three in a line. There's a gap of a couple of lengths, then back to outflank. Southern Comfort is making a forward move. Sea of Tars made up for that tardy start. The Alex Cherry chair, chair pair are at the back, and it's also Fane Kuehler and Sneaky Pete from Top Seeded. Those three are disputing the lead and are a good couple of lengths up on the remainder of the pack who are just about headed by Southern Comfort. Sea of Tar outflank is there. Tropes is also nicely placed. Atnist Aris the Grey is there as well. So too is Vicious Vicky and Alison Felix and Banging Drums not too far away either. Uri Heaps losing a bit of ground going wide. The one that's bursting out of the pack now is Cubitza but it's also Fankiller that has now gone on. So also Fankiller is in the lead by about half a length to Sneaky Pete on the inside. Top seed is third. Then Cubitza and Alison Felix Southern Comfort Tropes Atnist Nist Harris and Muckross Raver trying to get into it as well. There's plenty of chances now, but it's all still those two on the near side. Also, Fankiller and Sneaky Pete. Also, Fankiller is kicked on again with a furlong and a half to go. And also, Fankiller from Blooming Chaser has come from nowhere. Also, also Fankiller in front. Blooming Chaser needs to have pulled away from the remainder. Also, Fankiller has got the rail, but he's being swapped now. And also, coming out of the pack, he's outflanked. They're racing up towards line now. Outflanked. You right, he's right on the far side as well, but it's outflanked. He looks like he's going to take it. And um, outflanked will win it from also Fankiller. See of Tar Bloom and Chaser, you right heat, bang the drum, and the field will trail back to strength and stay. He didn't have enough strength and didn't stay, but exciting race and out flank took it in the end. I think that could well be a Daniel French winner. Also, Fankin has run a big race, looked all over the winner at one point. It's Get a look at the connections. It is indeed Daniel French outflank the winner. Also, Fankula for Anna Nies is second. And another one from that stable that's running right into form. Then that stable today had a first and a third, and now a second. Sea of Tar for Craig Beckwith was third. Blooming Chaser for Thomas Rogers was fourth, and Uriah Heap was fifth. <laughs>